Welcome to Baxter Bell Yoga. I'm here at the Oakland Yoga Studio. Please come check out the studio the next time you're in town. Also remember you can now order my book, Yoga for Healthy Aging, co-authored with Nina Zolotov on my website, as well as finding the link to order t-shirts. Remember, order the t-shirts up a couple sizes. They tend to run a little bit small. Today I'm gonna to share with you a practice called Brahma Mudra. Unlike the hand gestures or the full body shapes that are also known as mudras, this mudra is a moving meditation using sound and neck movements to influence the health and vitality of the neck and also provide some mental emotional grounding for the body. I learned this from Dr. Uh, Ananda Bhavani at the Sitar conference recently and one of my colleagues who's been doing it for many years now is in his early 70s has found that it's helped his cervical radiculopathy, a painful condition of the neck, quite dramatically. In fact, he's not having any problems with that after practicing that. In doing the practice, we're going to be turning the head side to side with our breath. In fact, we're going to go side to side and up and down. And when we bring the head back to center on the exhale, we're going to be matching it with the following sounds. Ah, uh, ooh, e, mm. So remember, I'll guide you through this. We're going to do three rounds. You can do six, nine, or 12 on your own if you want to do more, but three is an adequate start. So without further ado, let's take a nice sitting position. You can sit in a chair if you want. Find your inner lift, have the head in a neutral position. And on a slow, easy inhalation, begin to rotate your head to your right side. As you're exhaling back to center, let's make the sound ah. And then on a slow inhalation, rotate your head to your left side, as far as you can comfortably go. And on your exhale, coming back to center with the sound and then inhaling your chin up as far as it will comfortably go while keeping the back of the neck long. And as you exhale, making the sound and then inhaling your chin towards your chest, keeping the chest lifted. And as you exhale back to center, making the sound let's repeat that. Inhaling the head as far to the right as it'll go comfortably. And then exhaling to center. Ah. Inhaling the head as far to the left as it will go. And then exhaling to center. Ooh. Inhaling the chin up, keeping the back of the neck long. And exhaling the head back to center. E. Inhaling the chin to the breastbone smoothly. And exhaling back to center. Trying it once with the eyes closed, which is how I practice it normally. Inhaling to your right, exhaling back to center with ah. Inhaling to the left smoothly, exhaling back to center with the sound ooh. Inhaling the chin up, keeping the back of the neck long smoothly, and exhaling to center with the sound e. And inhaling your chin towards your breastbone smoothly and exhaling to center with the sound. And then pausing for a moment, allowing your breath to settle, noticing any obvious or subtle effects from that practice of three rounds of Brahma Mudra. And then opening the eyes and bring your awareness back into the room. So I encourage you to play with that a little bit. I've been doing it consistently now for, gosh, a couple of months. I'm finding it's very helpful for some chronic neck pain that I've had, as well as some limitations in range of motion due to violin playing and tennis playing. So um, try it out for yourself, see what you discover. I also have a really great blog post about this that I will put the link on the screen for you right now, and you might read about that to get a little more information about the practice. Thanks for joining me, and remember you can follow me online at baxterbell.com, as well as the blog site Yoga for Healthy Aging. Also know that I have longer practices on the practice channel, at the website yogauonline.com. And thank you again so much for joining me today. Until the next time, namaste.